uh, septictank.co.uk. It's really hard to do that, actually. <laughs> but listen, hello, everyone. And in today's live video, I'm going to show you really simply how a septic tank works, right? Uh, it's a very popular question. Many people want to know how a septic tank works. Even if they own one, they don't understand how it works, you know. So I'm going to show you. All right, so let me get straight into this for you. Okay, so let's go on to here. And here we go. Okay, so here we go. Here's a typical scenario we've got here. All right, so this is an onion tank here. And this is the soak away. This um, herringbone soak away. It's called a herringbone soak away because it's in the shape of a herringbone. There you go. All right, so, so we're going to start with the septic tank first of all. All right, so let me have a look here. All right, so if I zoom in on the septic tank here, there we go. Let's, whoops, let's zoom in on the septic tank here. All right, so this is a typical onion-shaped septic tank. It's called an onion-shaped septic tank because it's loosely, I suppose, in the shape of an onion, okay? And let me just get this up for you now. All right, so, but to me, it looks more like in the shape of um, a light bulb, something like that. But anyway, regardless, that's what they call them, onion-shaped septic tanks, okay? So if I just take the, split it in half. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. These tanks are typically um, made of fiberglass. And um, as you can see, you've got your inlet pipe here. And you've got your outlet pipe here. So what happens is this. All the wastewater from your house, um, the fat, the grease, the sludge, the poo, the hair, the soap water, dishwasher water, um, vegetable peeling, stuff like that, which we call wastewater, which is a very romantic name for it, but it's, it's effluent really. All right. It basically fills up, okay, the tank with water, like so. All right. So there you go. So the tank will fill up with water, like so. Now from there, this wastewater, when it reaches this height here, it will then make its way out through this orange pipe here. So all the solids will stay in the main septic tank itself, okay? So if I zoom out now, and let me now come here. All right, so the wastewater will then make its way down this orange pipe through the inspection chamber here. Now, the inspection chamber, I suppose, is essentially like um, what you'd call... Um, a rotting point. So let's say it gets bunged up with sanitary towels, baby wipes, um, tissues, stuff like that, you know, stuff that you shouldn't put down a septic tank. This um, inspection chamber will collect that debris and will stop your soak away from blocking up. All right, so it's very important. You know, they cost two or three hundred quid, but they're worth their weight in gold. All right, so now, so when the wastewater gets to here, it will then, if I just do this, look. If I can just move this. All right, okay, there we go. It will then make its way through the arteries of this herringbone system. And, the, and all these pipes here, all the pipes here, all the way along, are perforated, right? So the liquid will make its way through those perforated pipes. So let me show you what that will look like in reality. There you go. So all the water leaves the pipes. It then drains into shingle or gravel, which is laid underneath the pipe. So if I zoom in here and turn this over, there we go. So you can see there, you've got like a shingle bed, as they call it, right? And so all the liquid will then drain away out from the soak away into that shingle bed. So if we go back into an aerial view, this is what it will look like. So once the water's drained away, it just drains away like so. And so that process is basically repeated. So they call it a relative displacement. So every time you have a bath, 
A bath load of water will go into the septic tank here. It will then, by a relative displacement, make its way into the soak away. The soak away uh, pipes will release the bath water and all the you know sink waters, toilet water, stuff like that. It will then go into the 